What's up, fellow gamers? It's time for another episode of The Freak Show. Today we talk about patch 9.3, which hits pro play this week, and I might also reference a TV show about math. There were two major sets of changes in the most recent patch, one of which is a revamp of critical strike items, and the other is a slew of changes to champions frequently seen in pro play, and so we're gonna talk about the items first. Like a phoenix arising from the ashes, Infinity Edge goes back to being a good first item buy. It's efficient all on its own, grants critical strike chance, and gives critical strike damage, just like the old version before 8.11. However, it no longer gives true damage on crits, nor does it double your crit chance anymore. Now that Infinity Edge is a good first item, Storm Razor isn't. It's like comparing a shotgun to a box cutter. You're not gonna win that fight. The item, Storm Razor, lost a lot of gold efficiency, but now multiplies Energize effects, like Rapid Fire Cannon and Static Shaven Fleet Footwork, by 30% over what they were before. Another item we'll see more of is the new Essence Reaver, similar to its old form as well. If Infinity Edge is a shotgun, Essence Reaver, it's a 38 snub. It grants less damage, but does still give crit strike and also some CDR, which should feel pretty good for champions like Sivir, Lucian, or Zaya. Finally, Phantom Dancer now has a shield, much like Steric's Gage or Hex Drinker, should these marksmen feel cornered and need durability in their builds without sacrificing their critical strikes. So in the old days, we'd see Storm Razor and a Rapid Fire Cannon or a similar Zeal upgrade and then Infinity Edge third. Now we'll see IE first, followed by a zeal upgrade or two, with Essence Reaver ready to replace one of those for more spell-based marksmen. It takes about as much blood money to buy out these builds, and they give fairly similar stats. The major difference is in your level of choice. These parts are more interchangeable, and pros should add Phantom Dancer and Essence Reaver to taste. Now, does this mean that crit marksmen have the green light? Honestly, I think it's up to the pros. Mathematically, their overall damage output is about the same, and this graph shows that. It shows three item builds and compares them based on how much armor the opposition has. Crit marksmen are essentially slightly worse against tanks than before and are equal or better against squishies. Keep in mind that worse build is cheaper with a double zeal. That said, I don't believe it was ever the end times for these champions anyway. For example, we still saw a fair bit of Zaya and Sivir in pro play over the last month, and I think we'll continue to do so. I think the increase in build options do help these champions feel satisfying, so maybe we'll see more of them face off after all. The only champion really down here is Kaisa, who relied on early Storm Razor in her builds to round out her evolves, and that option is gone. However, players have pivoted to Infinity Edge first, and she seems to be doing just fine. Now it's time for the second big set of changes, a whole slew of nerfs and a single buff to seven of the most played champions in pro play. And here they are. Now Aatrox, Akali, Cassiopeia, Lissandra, and Scion were all seen in over 51% of picks and bans in pro play during the last patch, while Camille and Aurelia showed up a fair bit as well. Here's the quick bullet points of the patch notes in these characters. Aatrox lost his ability to heal off minions and has fewer dashes mid-combat, so we'll probably see much less of him. Camille lost her ability to stun jungle monsters, but honestly, I think she's still viable and we'll see her a little bit. Cassiopeia lost a lot of damage off the rank ups of her poisoning abilities, and keep in mind the strongest and most popular build maxed those two abilities first, so I think she'll finally drop off the ban list a bit, but we'll still see her some. And Aurelia actually gained baseline durability and more DPS through her passive, but as punishment, no longer blocks magic damage through her W. Overall, this seems to have been a large buff to the champion, and as a result, I think she'll be in nearly every pro game for the foreseeable future. Lissandra got some nerfs to wave clear that ultimately won't do very much, and Scion got easier to fight in lane with lower Q damage and a weaker shield cooldown for the early and mid game. He's still the best tank top lane, and we'll still see him picked, but maybe he won't survive quite as many matchups. Oh, and Akali got completely buried, and we won't see her a single game in pro play. And if you're gonna pick her in solo queue, you're trolling, and if I see you do it, I'm banning it away from you. So that's the patch. Since we will see LEC and LCS play the patch this weekend, I wanted to send you off with my bold predictions. The top five champions in pro play this patch will be Aurelia, Sejuani, Urgot, Lucian, and Braum. And we'll see if I'm right as the games go on this week. Happy Valentine's Day, enjoy LCS. Crawl space. Thank you.